everybody look at it it's about 65 degrees out here today <laughs> and today is christmas look at this shit look at this shit i got my scarf in my bag so listen i'm going to make a video about uh i don't know man it's just like religion and shit i always talk about religion in the hood like the thing about religion like i tell people religion is a parallel subject meaning it's it's a it's a horizontal subject Meaning that it, it's, just, it's like this. It doesn't go anywhere. It, it's not a parallel. It's not a. It's not a vertical subject. It doesn't go anywhere. It just stays there. And that's why most bad neighborhoods have a lot of churches. Like I always tell people. And the main thing is the main thing that fucks black people up now today is black pastors that know better. Ninety. I really believe in my heart that ninety nine point nine percent of these black pastors and ministers know what they're doing. They know they fucking the people over. They know it, and they living comfortable. And you know, like back in the days, like on the plantation, you know, the master didn't care about black people preaching because you know he, they were reading the Bible from his interpretation. And and that's another thing about the Bible, and that's why it's called the King James version. It's called the King James version, the authorized King James version, because slavery was such a big business that the Bible was reauthorized. It was rewritten to correlate with slavery. It was rewritten to uh, endorse, promote, and condone, and not can and not condemn slavery. It was, you know, that's what the Bible was rewritten. You got to understand that slavery was a billion dollar industry. Billion dollar industry. People got a lot of money off of slavery. That's what slavery was all about. It was an economical issue. And then it later went from an economical issue into a, 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 a to the Darwin theory. And then they used Darwin's theory to justify slavery. And after they used Darwin's uh, after they used a Darwin theory, then it went to an ev evangelical. And that's what you have now. It's all about evangelical. It's all about a evangelical issue. You know, so you get me what I'm saying? You follow me now? Slavery went from it went from an economical issue, then it turned into a Darwin theory, and now it's an evangelical issue. And that's and they use uh the evangelic they use uh religion to validate slavery. And people just don't get it. And that's why the Bible was rewritten. And that's why it's called the Authorized King James Version. In fact, each every so many years, scholars convene in a secret location. And they convene to, to change verses in the Bible. Uh, Google it. Google it. They, uh, they put the word, it took, uh, I forgot what they did. They put a couple of words in there and took a couple of words out of the Bible. And, and they, they do this to, to, um, to suit the modern times. But people, excuse me, but people just don't get it, man. And the thing is, like, women are the easiest. That's why churches are filled with so many fucking single women. Because they think the world is going to be perfect. And the world is not going to be perfect. Nothing in the world was created equal. Nothing. And the world is not going to be perfect. But the people want the world to be perfect. So these people come along with these religious theories telling you that one day the world is going to be perfect. And it's not. The world will never be perfect. It's bullshit. Nothing in the world was created perfect, or I mean, uh, uh, equal. Look at this tree right here. None of these branches on this tree are alike. None of them. You know, no snowflake is alike. No, nothing in the universe was created equal. And you people got this misconception that things are going to be perfect one day once they go to heaven. But that's bullshit. Like you see on these uh, Jehovah's Witness flyers, they'll have a lion sitting with a lamb. I know this is symbolic. But if the lion sits with the lamb, what is the lion going to eat? Why does the lion need teeth if, he, if he's going to become a vegetarian? That means if, it, if the lion is going to graze and the sheep are going to graze, then they're going to be competing for the, for the, uh, for the grass and shit. And then, and then they're going to they gonna, uh, eat themselves into starvation. You know, they're going to eat the shit up and then the shit ain't going to be able to grow no more. And then they can't live. So it doesn't make sense. Nothing in the universe is created equal. Nothing. Nothing. No man was created equal. We should be treated treated equal, but we were not created equal. But back to what I was saying is that religion, re women are the ones that grab hold of religion more because they base shit on how it makes them feel. And a woman's idea of a good relationship is a relationship that goes her way. That's her idea of a good relationship. 
fucking women, boy. But back to what I'm saying is like they, they're more inclined to grab hold of religion because they grab hold of religion from a emotional aspect. And most men that grew up in the house with their mother, they're the same way. They think more emotionally rather than realistically or logically. You know, like you know, like women just think dumb shit. Like, how? Why is God invisible? What sense would that fucking make? And if he's invisible, why does he have eyes? And if he's a he, a he, if he's a he, where's his male organs? And if you don't have male organs, why don't you call it an it instead of a he? But people just don't get this shit, man. And then, you know, like I tell people, you know, like if religion is more powerful than doctors, then how come the hospitals are not filled with pastors, ministers, and priests instead of doctors? Why don't you get rid of all the fucking doctors and start putting ministers in there and let the minister operate on you? I mean, it's just little shit that makes it, I mean, I just don't fucking get it, man. You know, just, and the main reason I make these videos, people call me bitter. I say I'm not bitter. I'm just speaking honestly. And whenever you speak honestly, people call you bitter. But I'm not bitter. But my main reason for talking like this is so black people wake the fuck up. You know, black people are still acting like fucking coons in the year 2014 going into the year 2015. When are we going to fucking wake up? But the main reason black people do the shit they do is because they're scared. Most black people are not as bad as they pretend to be. Like I always say, each housing project has its own has its own aura. Like you could be bad in this housing project, but when you go to the next housing project, that don't mean shit to nobody. You know, but you know, we so bent on like wanting to be the baddest guy on the block and all that other shit. That shit don't mean nothing. I bet you Mike Brown, the guy that got killed out there in uh the guy that got killed out there in uh, Missouri, I think it was. I bet you he was the baddest guy on his block. And look what happened to him. That bad, tough attitude don't mean shit. That shit only means something in black neighborhoods. Once you leave the black neighborhood, you see what happened. Wake up, black people. What's up, everybody? If you like to read, I like to write. This is my books of poems, jokes, and my ghetto philosophy. Hit me up with my cash app and get a copy, all right? Later, y'all.